today we're going to do the mechanical uh, tape transport adjustments on this Tudor because I have replaced the bearings replaced the bearings in the tension rollers and in the tape motion sensor and in this tape tension roller and now it's totally silent again but of course the tape path needs to be realigned so we're going to do that and I'm going to take you through all the steps I've got the student manual here and I'm going to follow all the steps necessary and I have got on the laptop I've got the uh, PDF with the revised uh, um, the revised uh, PDF that is uh, that is issued uh, in uh, 76 and it contains uh, some improvements uh, so I'm gonna check both uh, but for uh, historical reasons I prefer my copy <laughs> of the, the hard copy so um, but I'm gonna check both we'll see how far we can get So the first thing we have to do is uh, check the mechanical brakes and for that of course we have to remove the, the front plate. We have to check some tolerances here and there. So I've already removed the screws and of course these have to go so I'm going to do that now. So the first thing we need to check is the clearance here, my finger point, between the, the pin and the brake lever. This clearance should be one to one and a half millimeters. Well, I know what one and a half millimeter looks like. And that's okay. Same on this side here. That is okay. The next thing we should measure is the stroke of the bolt. Should be four millimeters. Check this by applying the magnet with your hand. Stroke of this pin should be four millimeters. Well, on sight it looks like four millimeters, but when I measured it, it's exactly four millimeters. I cannot hold the camera and do it at the same time, but believe me, it is four millimeters. And the same here. This stroke is also exactly four millimeters. Of course, this was calibrated before in the machine, and I don't think. Uh, it has uh, shifted its adjustment, so... Well, this is just to be thorough, but um, it's still in very good condition. On to the next test. Now we should test uh, the forward and backward movement, and um, the, um, the clicking sound should appear, so... Yes, this is as it is described in the manual. Functions correctly. Okay, now we're going to measure the braking force. Uh, like this. So in the opposite direction, this is the left wheel and this is the right wheel. In the opposite direction of normal operation and these are the values left reel, right reel uh, sorry, the English version the left reel and the right reel and this should be uh, 60 uh, for the first value etc etc so we're going to measure that and I've already hooked up an empty reel 
with a few meters of tape and I've got my spring scale and that should read 60 don't know if you can see that but I'm gonna pull it and it says almost exactly 60 as I do this so this is perfect okay so I have done the um I've done the tests for a quarter inch tape machine that I have. This one was exactly 60. This was not 180 but was around 200. This was also around 200 and this was also again dead on 60. So that is okay I think. My machine is thus breaking in the direction that it should break. Uh, a little bit um, stronger than it, uh, than it should but um, well, I think that is okay. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to fiddle with it. Okay, next up is the um, distance between the capstan and the pinch roller. Should be exactly one inch. So that was not okay. I had to adjust that. But now. you can see I don't know if it's visible on the uh, video but it's exactly one inch so I had to adjust this rod here okay now we need to check the the pinch roller pressure, this is the capstan, it's the pinch roller and you can measure that with this spring and the um, amount of force that needs to be applied is 1.2 kilograms to 1.5 kilograms when the pinch roller loses contact with the capstan So, I've got this string attached to the pinch roller. I'm going to measure it with this device. This is the last measure I took. And as you can see, it's within the specs. Okay. I set the clearance of the plunger of the edit uh, solenoid. I've done that. Cannot show that because it was very fiddly. Uh, check or clearance of approximately four millimeters between the pinch roller and the capstan when pushing the edit button. Check that. It's maybe three millimeters. It's okay. Also, we need to check that in edit mode the uh, tension rollers are fixed. Well, they are. Exit edit mode, and they are loose again. So, that is okay. Okay, we need to adjust um, the potentiometer that's connected to this tape sensor, tape tension sensor I should say, so measuring the voltage here and the voltage should be in the rest position 2.6 volts but it isn't and when I move the tension roller to the other position it should be 6 volts well it is 7.1 almost so we need to adjust that and in order to do that we need to reseat this potentiometer so that's what we're going to do now 
Okay, so I have adjusted it a little bit and it's quite fiddly. So now it's 2.61. I think uh, it will do for me. And when I move the tension roller to the other position, it goes to 6.9. So that's around 7, as they say in the manual. So I think it's okay. Now I'm going to do the right one. Okay, the one on the right needs some adjusting. As you see, it's now 2.44, should be 2.6. Okay, I've managed to get the right uh, meter da uh, to 2.596. I think that's close enough. Let's see what it does when I move. It well, it doesn't reach seven, but the uh, resting uh, position voltage is I think, more important. So that's okay. Measure the tape tension now. I have loaded two tapes. The tape is in the middle of the reel, and. We have to measure the tape tension with a tantalometer at this position before the record head and the tape tension should be 100. It's going to be difficult to read once I have it in place but remember it's the this mark in the middle of the dial. to see probably but it's around 80 85 so the tape tension from the supply reel that's what we're measuring now it's a bit too low so we're gonna adjust that let's see if I can make the adjustments uh, live on camera it's gonna be a bit difficult but I'm gonna try anyway Okay, so it's around 90. I'm adjusting the potential meter now. And you see it's dead on 100 now. So, that was successful. Okay, the next test is um, halfway the supply of uh, the reel, like this, and then pull back with a string the pinch roller so that the tape is not driven anymore by the capstan. And at that moment, tape movement should sh slowly come to a halt, should slowly stop. Now, I'm first going to show you what happens now because it's not good. Now I'm pulling the string and as you see the tape is now loose from the capstan, the pinch roller and you see the tape is moving um, ahead and it should stop. So I'm going to adjust that. I have adjusted um, the take up tension so it should now stop normally when I uh, lift the uh, pinch roller see even on the slow speed it just stops so we had to adjust some um, potentiometers uh, on the motor control board and what we had to achieve was that when you uh, put this one to the limit and then press rewind, tape should stand still. And as you see, it does. And the same on this side. Then press forward. 
Yeah, it's very difficult to hold these. Maybe this one needs some adjustment, but yeah. it's close enough, I think. That was also an uh, adjustment that had to be made. Of course, I had to demonstrate the right side with also 50 meters of tape on this pool now. So I'm going to demonstrate that. See, it's almost stationary. So, the adjustment is correct. The next adjustment is for the edit mode. And for that we're going to have to uh, make a mark on the tension roller for the play position with an equal amount of tape I've already made the marking it's this one and on this side it's this one and also you can see the other marking one centimeter apart and the other one also a centimeter apart and what is the uh, the object of this test is that I now have to put it in edit mode and um, this marking on the inner disk should go to the one centimeter above the play setting so we're going to check that when the edit switch is just engaged so I'm going to just engage it as you see it does not quite get there so we have to adjust something okay so right now I have made the adjustments and we're going to check that I put it in edit and then slightly turn the edit switch so that the micro switch engaged nothing really happens but the tape is tensioned and it should reach this sign here just slightly well it's not quite there yet and on this side it's also not quite there yet but if I turn it up anymore the uh, tape will slowly start turning and I don't want that so let's try it again oh sorry knob wasn't in the neutral position yeah and now edit yeah it's almost there and of course for the right side yeah it's almost there I think it works so I think it's working okay now the um, the edit button what you can do is um, spool the tape with a certain speed in uh, both directions and of course it should stop when it's in the center position still in edit mode just demonstrating the difference between um, just a normal start and a start from the edit mode this is a normal start and I will show you the I will show you the um, pinch roller here it goes and I will do the same but first put it in edit mode So it doesn't touch the capstan yet, but if I start press play now, you see the um, start is much quicker and much more smooth. Okay, we're gonna do the brake control electronics. 
and uh, for that we need to uh, measure between point test point two and three from this board and I've hooked it up as you can see and right now it's measuring 24 volts but the procedure is a bit odd you have to um, load a full uh, reel of tape put it in play mode and mark the right hand uh, tension meter I did that and on play it went to this marking you have to mark that and then you have to put a rubber band around the capstan and this roller so the um, system thinks that um, so the system thinks that the tape is in motion then you have to uh, press forward or rewind for a short uh, burst and then put this to the marking that you made and then measure this should then be 4 volts as you can see I'm pushing it to the marking now and it's still 24 volts but you will see when I uh, briefly press uh, forward it has turned to 16 volts and now I'm gonna put the tension sensor to the marker that I made see it's exactly 4 volts so that is good I've released the tension roller and it's now 16 again and when I release this the system clicks and this is 24 volts again so the procedure as described is correct okay the next thing is that um, on this board uh, on the test points there should be a signal of 800 Hz I've hooked it up and um, can't really get it to 100, 800 hertz. Hi, we got a visitor here. I think she wants to join in. Um, when I turn it, okay, no. It's so difficult. Ah, maybe I did it. Did it. Well, with the help of Kitty, I did it. So, I just wanted to show you the finished product. I've calibrated the uh, tape path after uh, um, replacing these bearings and first I'm going to show you that it's uh, really quiet with winding and also note the smoothness of the tape transport how easy it the tape starts and stops Look at the rollers and the guides. Fast forward. Well, the, the music that you hear is just some some demo music that I recorded 
just to test the functions. Look at how smooth everything goes. Zelf plek waar uh, ja, mensen gaan komen en daar zijn ook. I thought there was some interesting music on the end of the tape, so let's see if we can find that. <coughs> Maybe this is it. Yeah, that's it. Also one nice song at the end. Hope I can find it for you. Ah, and of course I test it. <laughs> yeah, I was playing around with the um, with the speed button during recording, so. <laughs> Makes, uh, makes for a messy playback. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed uh, my uh, calibration of the uh, tape path and my demo. And thank you for watching. <laughs>